Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Force USA headquarters here in Draper, Utah. In today's video, we are going to do a full workout. So check the timestamps in the description and the pinned comment below for the particular exercise or body part that you're looking for. But please try to watch the whole video because this is an organic review. The first time I'm working out, just like if you're a new customer and you buy one of these things and hopefully you get the assembly service and you don't have to put it together yourself. But right here we have the Force USA G15, brand new to the Force USA all-in-one G-Series lineup. And I'm really, really excited to go through this. Just like last year when I was here and I did the G20, which we will do an updated review while we're out here during a workout, a completely full body workout on the G20. And also another new product here at Force USA. But right now the G15, we're gonna do a full body workout. We're gonna to try to use as many attachments as we can during this workout. But if we don't get to all of them, Dan and myself are gonna do a full overview video on the G15 and all the other new products here at the headquarters. So let's get started with the workout. We're gonna be doing probably legs first, which means I'm gonna be using the leg press attachment on the G15. We're gonna look at the design, see what it looks like, and see how weak or strong I am in it. So here we are gonna start off with flat bench. I was gonna do a leg press, but my knee is kind of tweaked right now, so I'm not really feeling it. And that's what I said, it's an organic workout video. Not really quite sure if it's a good idea to do any kind of leg exercises right now. I'll probably have to do some yoga and make sure, but I'm able to do mostly everything. You're gonna run into that sometimes when you work out. You're gonna be able to do stuff, and then some days it's not gonna feel great. So I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. The range is a little bit different than I'm used to with the G3 and even the previous model uh, G series one that I had in the home gym. This is a counterbalance bar. I believe I said it in the previous segment. This counterbalance bar starts you at zero. So technically I'm only benching 50 pounds right here on the flat bench. So you're starting from zero. So you do not add the bar. It's just basically zero right here. And I'm just gonna feel it. And I can tell by looking at the hooks that they're a much beefier hook right there. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. I just wanna get a feel for it. And then as I hook it right there, I'm gonna bring it down there. I'm gonna add a little bit of weight here. And I'm gonna get to these weighted plate holders because they added another one. They added a fourth one and there's Olympic spacing. So we're gonna uh, focus on that as we switch the plates and we get a side view. But I'm gonna do one more exercise with a little more weight, see what it feels like. And this is gonna be a true 90 pounds with no bars. So you're not adding, like I said before, the 45 pound bar. I'm gonna put the bench in a little bit, which there's plenty of space, even with one of the uh, accessories or attachments that are in the upgrade kit. I'll point that out too. Here we go. Look, look. Two. Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Let me bring it back here. Yeah, this hook here, these hooks are very, very nice. Even these are a little bit beefier that the hook is going around. I really like that. So this is gonna be set number four. And like I said, I'm just going through these fairly light to medium because I have three full body workouts I wanna get done. And of course, uh, I'm always fighting uh, 30 years of wrestling injuries but that's why the Smith machine is good. In order to give me a little bit of a safety factor. <sighs> Gotta breathe. <sighs> five, there's a five or six, who knows? <sighs> Two more. <sighs> and then I'll hook it right there. That feels nice. So I'm gonna do my best to get a wide shot on the other side here, because what we're looking at is four plate holders right here, and they are Olympic spaced. So you're not gonna have a problem fitting even these bumper plates with even a little bit of space in between. So usually bumpers take up the most amount of room, and that's usually where you're overlapping. There's Olympic spacing right here, and this is very, very nice. So now we're gonna do some cable flies, and this is where the interesting feature of the G15 comes into play because Normally you have a two to one cable pulley ratio with most of these all in one trainers, at least in the Forest USA lineup. This one has a two to one, 
but it also has a four to one. So there's two different hooks over here and watch the overview video with Dan and myself on the G15 where we explain that a little bit more. But basically what it is, is I can essentially do a drop set even with these cable flies or anything else, or if I wanna split the two to one to a four to one and half to go even lighter, say with the side delt raises and other things that people may wanna do very light weight on, uh, this makes it possible. So that's pretty good. We're gonna stay with the two to one here and the weight stacks are quite substantial here. So I'm gonna go with 50 and that'll give me 25. So let me go to 60. So once again, two to one means it's gonna be 50% of the weight on the stack. So I have 60, which makes it 30. And also what we're gonna do here is put this down to 10. You should write these numbers down, by the way, too. It makes it a lot more efficient when you have a brand new piece of equipment like this. So these are the included uh, handles that come with the base kit. The upgrade kit includes beefier handles. These handles are really good still, so don't uh, think you're missing out, but I'll show you the upgrade kit. We're gonna cover it in the overview video. I know I said it before, but anything we miss here, just check that out. Link will be the, in the description below. I got to work out. It's hard to film and work out at the same time, but my heart rate's up from filming. So here we go. Now that feels a little bit heavy and it's a little unsafe. Because what I want to do is bring that. So I can drop the weight like that, or I can remove one of these. I can remove one of the hooks and be able to do it. So let's bring this in front and that feels nice. Two, three, four, five. Oh, it feels so good to use weight stacks after a play load of trainer for a year. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then hold that for isometrics, bring it back, and then I walk it back safely. Now, if I want to do a drop set, all I'm going to do is remove one of these hooks. Just remove one of the hooks and it's like going down the line and that makes it very, that's very, very light. But if you really wanted to just do some burnout sets, I mean, I, in that case, it's a little bit too light, but it makes it very easy. Say my wife and myself are working out together and we wanted instead of even switching the, uh, the stack, take one of the hooks off, cut the weight in half. We can go back and forth and no rest in between which I'm sure she gets mad when I train her like that. <laughs> but that feels nice, nice and quiet. Stacks feel smooth. Really, the stacks are such a, a premium type thing. Play loaded trainers are great, but you can feel the difference. So the next attachment we're gonna talk about on the G15 is a low row foot plate. Now, other models have the leg press combination with the low row foot plate. This one, the G15, has a dedicated low row foot plate. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the included handles because I wanna take what's included with the base unit and hook that up and we have a two to one ratio. We're gonna slide it all the way down and you can see there's a hole right there so where you, no matter what bar you use, the cable's gonna come out that way. So even if you wanted to use another type of bar, it could literally rest right here, say a straight bar straight across and obviously you gotta be careful, it's not gonna slip, but it makes it uh, convenient for that. So I'm gonna do 80 pounds, which by the way, like I said, it felt heavy doing cable flies, uh, going from the plate loaded to the weight stack trainer, uh, it made a big difference. So I wanna point this out too, I have it pretty much straight up, but I can adjust this however I need to. There's uh, three, adjustment points right there to be able to do these rows. So we're gonna do a few sets of these. I'm gonna see how heavy this feels. Put my foot here. And also this, this uh, where the pin is going through, those are band peg holes. So you can use band pegs as well for using stuff on the Smith machine or the power rack portion of the G15, which is a really nice addition. Now it feels pretty light, so that's good. I'm not totally weak. I'm gonna kick this up a little bit. i kick it up to about 110, which makes it like 55. Still pretty light. Like I said, I gotta do all these full body workouts. Now see how I came up off the floor? I gotta put my feet there first. And I have a nice range right there. They made a spacing of about maybe four, four, six inches from the anchor point to make it 
to where people with longer reach, now I can get a good stretch. I actually like those handles so I can do a little bit of, a, more of a squeeze and pull it past. <sighs> Gotta remember to breathe. That is absolutely, completely quiet. And from what I can see, they've changed the design a little bit of the cable pulleys. And like I said, we're gonna cover that in the overview, but that, that is super quiet. That's very, very nice. And this foot plate being dedicated makes it a little less cumbersome than the combination one uh, that I used last year. This is a nice design upgrade. I'm gonna add even more weight. I'm feeling pretty good. Although tomorrow's full body workout might not be all that great. Uh, check that out and see what, I, what I'm feeling right there. Stretch, see my range? Yeah, that's good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Yeah, that is that is nice. So I'm just gonna do the standing one because I just want to see what it feels like right here. I'm gonna put it on ten. It's probably gonna feel pretty heavy, but that's nice. And so if you wanted to even do a squat, do like a little combination. But like I said, my knee is not feeling great. That was not a smart idea. Just nice and quiet on the cables. Nice and quiet. So we are gonna do shoulder press now. I'm gonna bring this down just one to make sure I don't have to reach for it. I'm gonna put a little bit of weight on there. Uh, once again, the plate holders are so nice. They have four spots and they're pretty deep. So I have a storage rack in the home gym, which eats up a ton of space between plates and kettlebells. Now you're probably thinking, where do you put the kettlebells? Uh, that's where we're gonna get to these shelves in the back, which are part of the upgrade kit, because you can store adjustable dumbbells, regular dumbbells, even kettlebells on the shelves. And like I said, we're gonna go into greater detail with Dan, talking about the design, the adjustments of all these right here, but it is a nice, Nice upgrade right there for that, especially to save you on storage. All right, let's try this. See my reach, looks good. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm only gonna be Let's get another set in here. And nice and smooth. Don't turn your head like I just did. I'm just trying to look and see where everything is moving. That's not a good idea, but it is nice and smooth. I really, just a Smith machine, even the extra smoothness of that, whatever they put uh, design-wise into this is very, very nice. I can see a little bit on the actual Smith machine where it goes around this rod right here. It's a very, very nice upgrade. Counterbalanced is a little bit different because I had a 45 degree bar, uh, but, like I said, this is a true 90 pounds. You start from zero from the counterbalance Smith machine bar. So here's where the four to one is really gonna come into play, at least with the exercise I'm about to do. And it's just a side delt raise here, which I tend to be pretty weak on. I'll do them with dumbbells, but to do it with the cable, especially on something like where it's a one to one can be a little bit heavy, even on the top plate on the stack. So four to one here, two to one's gonna be great. Four to one, which basically, that's when I'm gonna start at the, at the four to one. From now, I'm gonna try the two to one first. I'm gonna hook it up with both the hooks here. And what I'm gonna do is just go down to 20 pounds here, which is gonna feel a bit heavy for me, especially on my weak side. I'm right-handed, so the left side, see, it feels a little bit, it's not terrible, but I'm struggling, and for an accessory, Exercise like that, you don't want to kind of throw it around. And I have shoulder issues, so to be able to go light, there you go. I can even go up and go to say 30, and that cuts it down to like under 10. So it feels like maybe eight and a half or something. That's nice right there. So I go up to 40, it'd be 10 pounds. So this is just under 10. I'm just gonna go here. 
Well done. You can even lean out. Some people like leaning out with it. That's a good, good kind of adjustment to get that side dealt. <sighs> Help if I counted the reps, but I'm just trying to get for demonstration. Yeah, that right there, I can get the reps. I can get a good isometric squeeze at the top, take my time, do a little bit of a negative on the way down, and not worry about it just feeling heavy and able to do cable work. So at four to one, you might think, well, I mean, God, that's way too light and it's unnecessary. But as I'm doing stuff like this, and like I said, to, to be able to do a quick turnaround, say working uh, out with my wife, or even kind of like that last burnout set, like a drop set type thing, it really, I feel that a lot more than even the, the dumbbells because there's really no momentum on the way back. It's safe with the cable. That is a nice addition. That's a nice feature. The four to one cable pulley ratio that I've never seen before. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I may not get to each and every attachment feature and spec of the G15, nor do all the exercises that you can do on this all-in-one trainer. So please watch the full overview video that Dan and myself did on this right here, the Force USA G15. We're gonna cover every attachment in the base kit. We're gonna cover every attachment in the upgrade kit. And I'm gonna give you a little preview, a little teaser on the one off camera here that everybody has been asking for. So if you know what this is, you know what this is. And yes, after all the time that people have been asking for this particular attachment, it is coming to the Force USA G15 and maybe other all-in-one trainers in the lineup. So stay tuned for that. The overview video, we're gonna go into detail about this because I feel like this does deserve a lot of time and a lot of focus and also uh, a testing session using this. So we're gonna try to get to that before we leave. If not, please, like I said, watch the overview video, watch the other stuff that we're doing here at the Force USA headquarters. This is getting pretty heavy. Also, please subscribe, click the bell to get notified. The affiliate link for Force USA is forceusa.com forward slash TV. The link for that is in the description below. We also have other affiliate links and codes. You save a little bit of money sometimes, and also you help support the content so we can come out here and check this stuff out, get first looks and test out equipment. And of course, the most important part, help you make a more informed consumer decision because this stuff isn't cheap and you wanna, you wanna make sure it's an investment for your fitness journey and your life. And I'm here to hopefully help you do that. I appreciate it. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.